Hello everyone, I'm Albert Marty. Uh, the last video that I posted up about CoStar on 85, I was telling you guys that I'm going to be doing a full installation video on traction control made by Handata. And basically, this is the unit that we're going to be installing here. And that is your part number right there. So I'm going to do an installation video so everyone can understand the wiring part of it and how to wire it up the correct way. And also do some testing to make sure everything's working properly. So, I'm going to take you a step-by-step -step installation. Also, guys, keep in mind that I have a 98 Honda Civic. And on the 98 Honda Civic hatch, it was never an option for uh, ABS brakes on it. So, basically what I did was, being that I have a K-swap, or it could have been a B-swap, doesn't matter. Um, what I did, I uh, upgraded my two front spindles to a GSR and uh you could use an ls one also um a ex civic and the rear suspension i converted to a disc which i used it from a Acura integra from 94 to 97 which again it doesn't matter as long as you get the correct sensors for it, it could be a 98 to 99 2000 2001 you know ex si doesn't matter as long as you get the correct sensors then you'll be able to put your traction control as long as those ABS sensors are correct. So now, let me take you inside and um, show you exactly what I did with my wiring. All right, on the wiring diagram, here we go. So basically what I did was uh, I joined the violet and the brown together, which that's my uh, uh, positive for the ABS sensor, which is just the rear. And then the uh, pink with gray... It's the negative for the rear. Reason why I joined these together it was to uh, fool the computer, which is your traction control that I'm using. You know, both sensors in the rear, but I'm not. I'm only using one. Same thing with the front. The front, I took the blue and the green. I joined them together, and I took the yellow and the white. I joined them together, and I'm only using one sensor again in the front. You know, keep that in mind. Now, what I did was, over here, you have your K-Pro and your orange wire, your EDL wire, which a lot of people's like probably like, oh, where does that go? It's simple. You're just going to take this E-plug off. When you take the E-plug off, you're going to re-pin, because there's no pin or wiring in there, pin in the E15, any color you want, and your orange wire goes to here. Then... I grab my power from the plug and play unit above it. So I got my power and ground source from there. After I was all done, uh, I was making sure that this unit you know, had power. So it did have power, everything was working fine. And before I go out on the road, I did a few tests. And I'm going to show you the few tests that I did. So I can show you this is working. And you want to do that also before even hitting the road. So let me show you. All right, so here's how it works, right? We have the left front and the right front. So remember, I joined those two together. So he's going to spin that tire to show you it's getting signal. See, he's getting signal. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to show you on the left rear, which he's going to spin now. And he's going to show you that it has a signal there. See that? So that means it is working correctly. So basically, um, now that that's all done, now the fun part is driving around and let's have some fun with this. Right, so basically, um, I'm gonna go get some fuel because I'm out of fuel. So of course you guys know that this car's on 85. And um, what you saw, look at this here. You see how the sensors are blinking? That means it's it up so that means everything's working properly so when I get some feel I'm a point to show you how this traction control works. Alright I might not go full throttle but shit it's a little slow here.
that's the end of my video. And um, again, there's a lot more to you know playing with the traction control now. The uh, one that came with the traction control is a basic one. So once I start playing with that, and now it's going to be for my type of setup, and then I can show you what this you know full setup really has in it, and you'll see a different video. Also, I'm going to be posting up the uh, the new version four. And I'm going to show you some nice cool features with the Bluetooth. So thanks a lot for watching.